Welcome back, YouTube, uh, to the channel where we all expect delays. <laughs> it's been since last year, October 26th, since I post something. I'm sorry, but uh, the channel's been growing, and uh, viewers have been uh, sticking around and commenting, and I really appreciate the support and everyone's patience um, with me making these videos and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm just gonna not beat around the bush and just thank all of you guys for sticking around and get to the video where today we're going to just uh, handle a really simple request. I want to try and get go through some comments and get requests out of the way because they are applicable and I'm gonna do them anyways and sometimes it just helps me to be like, okay, hey, here's something easy to do or quick that's gonna help a lot of people and this one is an unequipped animation. So, right now, we just look like this whenever we spawn in the game this animation is is what we have at all times and uh that's fine um if you're going to spawn with a gun um but in many games even when you spawn with a gun you want to be able to put away and you want to be unequipped and that's not every game and i understand that uh but for those who do want that uh and of course you can omit all of these these are just lessons and i'm just compiling them all into one thing you can pick and choose what you want to do mechanics wise so we're just gonna do a simple uh mechanic where we spawn with uh, an unequipped animation and then of course the equipped animation plays and then we can actually be holding our weapon whenever we pick it up because we do have pickup functionality we hit e but it just pops right into our hand right there's no delay or anything i don't know if i have pickup from the ground animations but i know i've got like equip it from the back so so we'll mess around pardon the animations but of course animations aren't really what matter uh to the full extent that you can just put anything there in that time slot and stick animations in so hopefully you guys can learn and, and extrapolate your own knowledge but i'll do my best with animations that i find it might just confuse people when they're not seeing the actual animation they expect but just keep in mind if i use like the same animation for something that isn't the action uh you know you can just put that animation that you find there later. So let's get into this, and I want to just start off by removing uh, a boundary that we uh, popped up in our last video just to show what was going on. So if you open up your player character and go to the near object collision, if you followed my last uh, video, or last couple I should say, we made this to detect any objects around us, and I did make the collision visible just for demonstration's sake. So uh, just heck, check hidden in game and visible should still be checked otherwise it's going to be invisible in your viewport anyways now let's actually get to the part where we tell the animation script what to do or the animation blueprint so the easy way to do that is click on your mesh and if you have it applied uh, the anim class you can just hit this uh, magnifying glass and it'll take you right to the asset so i'm uh, going to open this up and we don't have a ton in our event graph and that's really fine because we're not we're not doing a ton variable and logic wise we're really just doing looking in speed and direction here and then doing the rest of our uh, animation stuff here we don't you know it's gonna stay pretty simple so we actually just want to let's see try and get owner pawn and we're just gonna cast this to bp player character and then we'll right click on as vp player character promote to variable and just call it player so off of this since we're right here we will get his oh pardon me it's is item equipped i almost typed is weapon equipped so we want to get is item equipped which will let us know if we have something in our hand. And then we can promote this to a variable called is item equipped. Now, I'm, I'm actually going to change this around because this terminology just uh, denotes an item. And we will want to actually have item interaction and that kind of equipping and weapon interaction. And those will have uh, different branches in logic we're going to be doing a lot of splitting and blending and other things here uh it's very simple right now but it's not going to be in hopefully the near future let's see how quick i can get through episodes but this right now we're going to just leave this terminology but we'll we'll actually make this more defined to where we have weapon equip and item equip because those will determine different animations and then even within the weapon and item it will determine what kind of item and what kind of weapon and split within there but we haven't gotten there yet and we're just sticking to the basics. So since we have this, 
Uh, this just lets us know it's direct communication from the player whether or not we're holding something. And so how do we utilize that in our anim graph? Well, there's a great node called blend poses by bool. And it kind of does exactly what you would think. It blends the two poses that you give it by the true and false bool that you feed it. So ours is is item equipped asking, do we have something? Now this first line that we have here is our default where we spawn with a, an equip animation. So we can actually just leave that on the true that it automatically connects to, because this is what we will use when our item's equipped. But when it's not, we need a completely different locomotion. So how do we make that? Let's do a new state machine. We can call this new state machine unequipped locomotion. And inside that, we're going to be making something that we already have access to. So if we open up, uh, go back to our third person content, or third person map, pardon me, and we can just go through, let's see here, I believe it's third person. We can go to, nope, let's see, mannequin, sorry, animations. And uh, the default Unreal Engine mannequin is just what we're looking for. It's completely unequipped animations, and it actually has all the logic that we need right here. Uh, the only thing that it doesn't have that we're going to add later is crouch functionality, but we don't even have that in our unequipped. So we can just select all of this. It's really awesome. Control C and then hop over here. Control V and boop. We're done. Okay. And the cool thing about this is it keeps all the logic in here. Of course, as with all variables, you do have to create these. Let's see here. Yeah, that one's good. Okay, those are good. And uh, other than that, everything should be in time. So if we compile this, uh, we're going to get a T-pose. Um, but that's because, first of all, item equipped is false, and so it's heading to the false logic. So we didn't even equip this, and once we equip it, we're getting uh, that these are referencing a different skeleton. Well, that's because we have not retargeted the third person skeleton to the one that we're using uh, from from our character because we're using this anim pack skeleton. So we need to retarget these animations. Um, oh, I keep doing that. We need to retarget these animations. Well, to the third person uh, skeleton fr from the animation pack. So, how do we do that? First, we'll want to go back into our mannequin animations, and we can actually just right-click uh, the anim graph that we're referencing, copying stuff from, and uh, let's see, duplicate anim blueprints and retarget, right? So we know that we, um, let me see here, um, we know that we want our other skeleton, but we can't see here. So what we need to do is uncheck show only compatible skeletons. It's kind of misleading because it's making you think, oh, well, these aren't compatible. This isn't going to work. Well, we actually know that this will work because uh, if you pay attention to the skeleton of these two, I say pay attention if you take a look, uh, they're the exact same because the UE4 mannequin skeleton is a, what a good portion of the assets on the asset store are using, even if it is uh, the especially if it's the Unreal Mannequin. Not always. I've seen modified Unreal Mannequin skeletons before, but just uh, take a look, and uh, I, th I believe this packs from Epic Games anyways. So we can just hit retarget, but before we do that, we do want to tell it where it's going. And we want to put it in our animation starter pack, just so we can keep all of our animations together. Let me see here, make sure I'm putting it in the right folder. Yeah, I think we can just dump it in animation start back. Okay. Press okay there and whoop. Okay, it just auto saved on me, sorry. I think that's good. So we're just gonna retarget and hope nothing breaks. <laughs> so I'm gonna save up here and this probably still isn't gonna work because we're actually copying the, oh, let me go back here. Um, we're copying the reference from our other skeleton, so we need to copy these from well, the one that we just retargeted. So we can open this up, open up the animation graph, open up default, 
select all these, control C, go back to hours, control V, and rearrange this properly. Uh, hold on, that don't look right. There we go, I was like, that should not be going both ways. Compile, and we're looking good. And already, we're just defaulting to our unequipped animation. We go to speed. Oh, It's not letting me modify these. I'm not quite sure why. I notice this bug every now and then, and it's mega irritating. Let's just demonstrate it, shall we? So we're in third person, or first person, pardon me. Uh, but in, even in third person, all our, all our stuff works. Now, why is turning not working? Well, that's actually because of how we are turning on and off certain controls and things to achieve the look and feel we want in first person and third person. So this is a whole different step that I'm going to uh, cover in the next video, but just to get, because we're kind of focusing on this, just to get the first person animations looking nice. They are the same ones, but we're controlling them differently. Once we pick it up, it's, it's done. Like the, our logic kind of just solves itself because it's, it's already there. We're just basically putting in a gate and, uh, and that's it. And you know, you can still shoot and all that. I mean, technically if we were unequipped, right? Uh, let me, let me show something. And this is something that you need to think about and plan for, for glitches and anything like that, because technically if we were unequipped, uh, animation wise, but had the gun, we'd still be able to shoot because there's nothing saying that we can't shoot if our animations are wrong. So there is a way around that, um, but let me just demonstrate that to you. So uh, even if we have a weapon equipped, let's just take it to the unequipped animation. So we're going to be in T-Post. It threw it on the wrong monitor. Sorry. We're going to be in T-Post. That's fine and good. Okay. Let's pick up the gun. And now we're in unequipped territory. Cool. I can still shoot, as you can see. That's not good, right? You could fix this by going to your player character. And uh, this is just a demonstration if any of you are worried about this. Really, this shouldn't happen if your animations are right. If the logic glitches out, it's just going to be the kind of glitch that is solved from uh, a restart. And, you know, glitches like that happens because if this is in the right place, there's no way that... If you're equipped, you know, you're going to be in an unequipped animation unless there's a disconnect in communication between uh, which anim blueprints being controlled and this and that. But in that case, you're probably doing uh, a multiplayer and having issues with that. And that's a whole different story. So this shouldn't really happen ever because that would just purely be what we did. It'd be the wrong traces. But if it were to happen, you really wanted to prevent against it, we can go to where weapon primary is. And uh, we don't even have it here because we're assuming that our weapon's always equipped. And and we shouldn't. Uh, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do this here. I'm going to do this in a future video because it isn't uh, it's applicable here but it needs to be addressed in its own video for other little things what you'd want to do is branch here and purely ask is item equipped now this should always be done anyways because we don't want to be shooting if our weapon isn't equipped uh, because well then it would be calling this stuff that is referencing an item that isn't equipped you're throwing errors into your log which are fine because they're not game breaking they're just not going anywhere it's just complaining at you because it doesn't have references right i can demonstrate that uh by oh pardon me oh man i'm having a time i can demonstrate that here by going in clicking a bunch firing hopping out and showing you my errors because right here we're trying to access Come on, we're trying to access the weapon and muzzle rotation, which also references the weapon and the mesh. We're trying to access things that aren't there because we don't have them. We're not holding the weapon. The reference hasn't been set. You're just dumping errors into your log. Once again, I'm going to address this in a different video, but also the same uh, solution can be taken for that little animation glitch, but the other way around. Instead of grabbing... Uh, 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 instead of grabbing our is item equipped you could say this right 
and because you need is item equipped anyways is item equipped and well I should get get animation or I think it's anim instance pardon me yep get anim instance for the mesh and then we'll just cast it because you have to if you want the exact variables of course you have to cast so we'll cast a tour and in BP um, and convert to pure cast and see we would actually we would probably want to do this on a second branch uh, because I would first really want to check is valid right because um, uh, it, sh it should be Right, but it's if you're uh, if you're messing with um, multiple anim graphs, because you can change anim graphs uh, mid game. I'm pretty sure if you're messing with that, you you want to make sure you're on the right graph, uh, and even if you're calling it in the right scenario. So you'd always want to check for this. But regardless, just we're just assuming it succeeds because we only have one animation graph, and then we get is item equipped, right? So you're check and checking again this should be set by this but if there's any discrepancy whatever right it would be really silly to have your animation be unequipped and your gun still firing cool glitch every game almost has it whatever You're like oh look at this well if you really want to you know make sure it never happens even if it's unequipped and they've found a way to put a weapon in their hand it will say well nope the animation thinks we don't have anything so we must not have anything. So it's really up to you, but it's it's not the most necessary thing. A little off topic, but for those of you who are curious. Well, I'm gonna cover some other things like that in the future videos, and even of course our big error here where we can't turn and do the things that we'd like to. Hi, uh, editor's note you could say or whatever. I just realized we already have all the logic in place that I thought we didn't for the camera and there's only one thing to fix our little third person issue uh, where we uh, are wanting to walk like this because I already fixed it um, <laughs> sorry so uh, just go into your character movement and type rotation and there's this one down here called orient rotation to movement we had that off and just a reminder of what that looked like we're in third person and I'm I'm moving in different directions as you can see we're not falling we're just staying still once we turn that back on though save our project here go in the third person this acts just like how we would want it to so I'm pressing S pressing W pressing A D right so that acts how we would want it to walking in a circle all that fun stuff Ooh, okay and then of course we hop in and first person third person everything behaves like we would want it to cool sorry about that back to the outro uh, sorry for the extended video but I hope you appreciated the explanation I'll probably just put stuff in there saying skip to here and here and I don't know I don't know we'll see how my editing skills go <laughs> thank you so much for watching this episode I hope you enjoyed I hope it helped you if you have any more suggestions requests please throw them in the comment section thank you guys so much uh, for staying subscribed and all that we're pretty close to f five what is it 7,000 good lord I don't know where I'm at I almost said 5,000 that was a couple years ago we're almost at 7,000 subs I'm pretty sure so if we can get there that'd be cool not that I really care but seven is one of my favorite numbers moving on thank you so much have a great day and I hope you guys are all safe